I don't teach a one rain stop. I don't like a one rain stop for the horse. Hello, welcome to Tim Anderson Horse Training. Today we're going to talk about a one rein stop and why I think a one rein stop is a good safety break for you, but why I think it's bad training for your horse. So we'll get saddled up and get started with today's video. The horse that I'm going to be using for today's video, his name is Macaroni and Cheese. It's kind of a funny story how he got that name. The gentleman that used to own this horse told his grandson, think of something that you like a whole bunch and that's what we're going to name the horse. So I'm not sure how old the grandson was, looked like maybe four, something like that. So he come up with, he liked Macaroni and Cheese a whole bunch. So that's what this horse's name is. We usually call him Mac for short. If you hear me referring to a horse as Mac, that's this horse. So we'll get him brushed, give him a quick brush down, and get him saddled up. Whoa. Okay, so I'm trying a new microphone today. I'm sure everybody that's seen any of my videos knows I've had a hard time with recording audio. This is actually the fifth microphone that I've tried since I started doing YouTube videos. I had two um, voice recorders and then two wireless microphones. And uh, I, anybody that's tried doing videos from horseback, the uh, you have a problem with problems with wind, you have problems with distance from the camera, have all kind of problems and I think I've experienced them all so I'm still trying to work through them. If uh, you think this audio is any better than what it has been please let me know. Leave, leave me a comment. If it's, uh, if it's not better then uh, let me know that too. I'll keep trying. I know on, on horseback it's uh, you have the issue of getting too far from the camera for the wireless mic to transmit and uh, also too far from the camera for the, so you, the for you to see what I'm doing so uh, recording off horse, horseback with audio is pretty challenging and uh, I feel it's important for you to hear the audio while I'm riding and not voice over it afterwards when I try to voice over it afterwards I just leave out so much that's going on while I'm on horseback. I can't get it all in. So uh, I really think it's important that I record the audio while I'm riding. So that's what I'm trying to do. And uh, hopefully the audio is better for this video. This is, as I said earlier, this is Mac that I'm riding. Mac is three years old. We're in the fall of our, uh, we're in the fall. So he's a long three year old fixing to turn four. So uh, he's had a fair amount of riding time on him, but I wanted to use him for this video. I don't think I've used him for any videos yet. He has a really nice uh, gelding. I really like him. And we're going to talk about one rain stops today. So first of all, I'm going to walk a couple circles. I'm going to show you what a one rain stop is, in case you don't already know. So if you're riding your horse and the horse runs off with you, gets spooked, pretty much does anything and you lose control, what a one rein stop is, is you take one rein and pull that horse's nose around to your toe and hold it until your horse gets stopped. It's kind of an emergency break. I don't teach a one rein stop, I don't like a one rein stop for the horse. So while I'm feeding horses this morning, there was something I wanted to talk about. 
I'm always looking to improve my training, and I assume many, I assume many of you are also. That's why some of you watch my channel. So I wanted to mention a channel that, that I found that I think has helped me to improve some of the things that I do. There's always room for improvement. The channel is Herm Gailey, A Lifetime with Horses. He has a similar training philosophy as what I have. He does things similar to the way I do them. And I think it's always good to see a different perspective how somebody else handles different situations. It's always good to help you improve. I'll put a link to his channel. I'll try to put it up at the top in the little square box thing. If you don't see it up there, I'll put it down below in the comments. So you might want to check him out. And uh, he does a good job with horses and I really like the way he does things. So check him out. Now, it's a very good tool for the rider. We'll work the other direction. I'm gonna go over that. So my horses are not used to having the one rein stop done to them. We'll go the other way. If my horse is running off, spooking or something, I pull the head around to the side and wait for the feet to get still. Whoa. And that's a one rein stop. Kind of a safety break for the rider. So, I don't practice that on my horses for a couple of reasons. For a beginner rider, I think it's a good tool. But if you have a horse that you're training that you want to do just about anything with, where you want him to elevate his shoulders and engage his back end, get round and collected, that could be could be raining, could be working cows, team pinning, barrel racing, poles, English, it doesn't matter. Everything that I'm gonna want that horse to do, I'm gonna want the shoulders up, the back elevated, and the back end up underneath. And when I one rein stop a horse and I pull a nose around the side, I'm encouraging everything that I don't want. I'm encouraging his Shoulders went down, he got heavy on the front end, his back end got light, and he lost his engagement. Which, if your horse is running off with you, you'd really like for him to lose that engagement in the back end. So, we're going to go over some alternatives that you can use if you get in a bind on your horse that are good for your horse. You'd be teaching positive things. As I've said before, everybody who rides a horse is a horse trainer. You're either training something good or you're training something bad. So, if I'm losing control of this horse, and let's say he's running off, we'll make him trot a little bit. Trot, 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 trot. So let's say I'm losing control and he won't stop. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull his head around with my hand up and I'm actually going to send him forward in a small circle. I'm going to make this circle hard to do. He's wanting to stop and I'm not letting him. I'm going to make, there we go. I'm going to make what he wants to do hard. So on the flip side, let's say the horse is running off with me. For whatever reason, he's scared or whatever. And I pull his head around and we stop. What has that horse just learned? He has learned that if he spooks, he gets to rest. Think about how we reward a horse. We reward a horse by letting him stand. We reward a horse by petting on him. So I have basically just rewarded him for bad behavior and I don't want to do that. Let's do that again. Horse is running off with me. I one rein stop him. Oh. Usually the first thing people do is pet their horse because they're glad they got stopped. Well, I'm, doing, I'm rewarding that horse for bad behavior. So because of that reason, 
I'll never one rain stop. Now I'm not telling you to never one rain stop. You get in a bind and you need to get your horse stopped so you can get safe. You do whatever you have to do. But what you can do. I'm currently putting together my 2022 clinic schedule. If uh, you're interested in talking about having me come to your area to do a clinic, uh, you can message me at the email address below and we'll discuss the uh, possibility of having me come do a clinic for you and a group of your friends. Your horse is running off with you. Try to maintain control of your adrenaline. Think about what you're doing. And when you get that horse, get his nose around, and you get him slowed down, even to a walk, don't let him stop. Send him forward now. Send him forward into a small circle so that that circle is hard to do. Notice where my hands are. I'm not pulling. I'm not pulling down to my thigh. I'm up in the box in front. That's going to keep his shoulders elevated. Now, we didn't come to a complete stop. I'm sending that horse around in a circle. Now that he's listening to me, whoa, now I can ask him to stop and I can pet on him. Now I can give him a reward for doing what I ask him to do. He's not getting a reward for bad behavior. I'll show you that again the other direction. Trot. Or spooks, runs off, whatever. I'm gonna get a rein around, keeping my hand in the box in front. He comes down to a walk. Now I'm gonna send him in a small circle. Send him with my legs, tell him to go. Tell him to go. It's funny how when you tell your horse to go, and it's your idea and not their idea, to them it's not such a good idea anymore when you're saying go. So Tell him to go in a small circle, and now ask him to stop. Whoa, good boy. So think about that when you're riding your horse, especially if you have a horse that's spooky, or you have a horse that wants to kind of speed up with you. If you've been pulling them down to a stop, you're just reinforcing that bad behavior that you don't want. Instead of coming all the way down to a stop, instead of a one rein stop, let's call it a one rein slow down and regain control. Because that's what we're doing here. We're taking that one rein, we're slowing down, and we're regaining control, redirecting that horse's attention from whatever it was into what we want it to be. So that's the point of today's video. Instead of one rein stop, one rein, slow down, regain control, redirect your horse's attention. So that's my video for today. If you are a current subscriber, I want to thank you for watching. If you're not a subscriber, if you would please click the subscribe button and the bell, and you'll get notifications when I get new videos out. Please uh, click the thumbs up button if you liked this video and thought it was helpful. And... If you have a comment on uh, one rain stop, your experiences with a one rain stop, please let me know what they are and put a comment down in the, the box below. So until next time, thank you for watching.